And of course, we've got the head coach. Brian Callahan, Callie's Corner is presented by SeatGeek. Some of the challenges that you might have had on offensive line, were those more technique issues or were they assignment issues? Um, more technique than assignment. Uh, we were relatively well assigned throughout most of the game. We didn't have any major gla glaring errors in, in, in our down-by-down -down assignments. I think we had more technique misses and, and losses, and so that's going to happen. You're going to lose one-on-one -on -one in pass rush sometimes. It, it happens. We can live with that. How do we just fix the technique and see if we can get better. Um, so that that's a little bit easier to live with when you're when you're making some maybe more technical errors as opposed to schematic errors. Um, but yeah, I just think we didn't do a good enough job in pass protection overall. Uh, they won more than than we did, I think, when we needed to, and I think that part was, um, you know, contributed to to the loss. The Jets are the next opponent. Obviously, they're playing Monday Night Football, so you get one less day to sort of dive in on them. Is that a team you spent some time preparing for in the preseason, knowing that you would have one less day? Yeah, and, you know, I think uh, there's a handful of us that have played that. They've got some continuity there, so they've played um, the same, a similar system with coaches there for, for a couple of years. And so uh, I've, I played them in 21 and 22. My dad played against them in the same years, and we crossed over with that division. And so uh, guys got some experience and have seen that system, and so – uh, I don't feel behind by any means by not having their first game. How would you describe a Robert Sala defense in terms of your offensive challenge against them? So we have our hands full up front. They're, they're an attacking um, jet-style rush front that's going to try to penetrate up the field, vertical knockback-style front. Um, they got you know one of the best corners in football in, in Sauce Gardner. Um, their linebackers are experienced and good players. Uh, they, that's a good, that's a very, very, very good defense. What are you expecting out of that crowd on Sunday when the Titans take on the Jets? Seeing the, 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 the Titans faithful um, really turn it up a notch, you know, and I said it in my opening press conference that, that we need that. Our players feed off that. There's an energy and enthusiasm that the stadium feels. And um, if you ask any player, they, they'll tell you that that, that makes a huge difference. Um, and so we need it, and they're they're a part of us. You know, when we win a game, they're a huge part of that process at home because uh, you have an environment that's difficult to play in. It makes uh, it makes the home field advantage a real thing, and, and I know they're going to bring it, and we're going to need every bit of their support this Sunday as well. For more of our conversation with Brian Callahan, we invite you to enjoy the OTP. You can watch the OTP on the Titans YouTube channel or at TennesseeTitans.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the OTP wherever you get your podcasts. There is only one official Titans podcast, better known as the OTP. Stay tuned. More Titans All Access right after this.